Just for Kids Law is standing up for kids, compassionate, ambitious, pioneering, brave, authentic, educational, dynamic, dynamic, very child friendly, determined, determined, determined. Determined for me is that just for kids was crazy <laughs> in the best way possible. I genuinely believe that Just for Kids has profoundly changed the way that youth justice is viewed in England and Wales. Ever since Seanan joined by ICA, set up a specialist youth justice department and a criminal firm, they passionately told the story that children deserve a specialist representation from lawyers who have expertise, who understand their needs and can communicate effectively with them. I'm most proud of Just For Kids' ongoing commitment to protecting children's human rights. Allowing a young person to dictate what they want for their lives. Drive it forward and make something, not just help them, but go further. And even when we're up against quite big institutions, we don't get intimidated and we stay strong. Being able to say, actually, no, we don't think that law is right, we're going to change it. What if she never comes home again? What if I never get out I can't again? lose her. I just can't. My mum must be so worried. Don't, Don't panic. panic. Keep, Keep it together. together. The things that was really personal to me was when children were... 17-year-olds were granted access to appropriate adults in the police station. It's a massive thing for me as a lawyer. This is the last place at the police station that 17-year-olds are treated as adults. I remember you coming down to my office with the judgment, which was still secret at the time, and just handing it over to me. And you said, I think you said, we've won. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we both just cried. <laughs> The reason that it was so important, it been working with those families of the 17-year-olds who killed themselves, and the family's pain was still so alive, and this was at least something that was able to be a tangible outcome for them. Three, two, one. My name is Kamani. I'm from Hatton East, London. I turned 18 two months ago. Who I am? Um, I'm someone that's lived here for like, since I was nine, and I can't carry on doing what I love to do. And yeah, that sucks. because of the students behind me who have all got places at university. They're lawfully resident in the UK, but they're unable to get student loans to help them pay to go to university. The Supreme Court had never seen so many young people um, there to hear a case. And again, they were all in court when they heard Lady Hale hand down the judgment that meant a whole lot of them would be able to go to university where they couldn't before. And it was amazing scene that day, wasn't it? Yeah. We won. We actually won. This, this was our first major victory. It's rare that cases against government legislation win at the Supreme Courts, but we managed to do it. Thank you. Thank you. The happy parts are the human parts, the interaction, when somebody smiles at you and opens up and they can't quite believe you're going to walk that path with them. They'll be supported throughout that journey. Children and young people that we work with might have family breakdown, might not be at school, so they sometimes don't have adults in their lives who are able to support them through difficult times. So we often fill in that role for these young people. 
I just feel like one of the family and that's what it is to me, like a big family. I feel like they're there every second of the way. I love that it's filled with young people, it's not just older people talking about what to do. They champion your voice and make sure you're heard. They just go above and beyond for you. It's like the best team um, to possibly have around me, so it's, it's awesome. And being helped by Just For Kids Law, it's like a light at the end of a tunnel.